New Ford Edge Vinyl 2016 Review Top of the range Ford Edge Vinyl is far too expensive when upmarket rivals are more refined and better to drive. Verdict 2 Star The Ford Edge is fundamentally a good SUV, with loads of space, stylish looks, and a composed driving experience. However, this Vinyl version is just far too expensive to recommend. Similarly priced subs such as the Mercedes GLC are not only more refined and upmarket, but they're more efficient and better to drive as well. The Ford Edge launched in the UK earlier this year, but now bosses have added a posh vinyl model to the range. Things kicked off with the Mondeo vinyl at the start of 2016 followed quickly by the plush top spec S Max. Now, the brand has moved to the Ford SUV range, with top spec versions of the Kyuga and Edge. Rumors are already afloat of Fiesta and Focus models in the not-too-distant future, too. The idea behind the Vinyl brand is to add a more luxurious model to each car's range, with all the features you'd expect in a premium rival such as a BMW or Audi. In practice, however, they sit simply as expensive top-spec models that don't match up market rivals and that's true with the Edge Vinyl as well. It's particularly evident in the large SUV, in fact, because the standard car is already well equipped, good looking and has one of Ford's better interior designs, so it feels like little has changed. There's some extra leather for the dashboard, extra stitching on the steering wheel and around the cabin and extra equipment, along with unique leather seats with a hexagonal pattern. The leather is high quality, but you'd have to be an aficionado to really notice the craftsmanship that has gone into it, and when you're sitting in the car you can't see the seats, meaning the changes from behind the wheel are hard to spot. On the outside, the chrome hexagon grille and 20-inch alloy wheels are the main changes, and there's also some chrome steps down the sides, a vinyl badge on the boot and some extra chrome detailing on the rear bumper. When you've shelled out nearly 5,000 pounds extra on the vinyl model, you'd expect a much bigger transformation. Costing £40,250, the Edge Vinyl we drove is £730 more than a Mercedes GLC 220D in top spec AMG line trim. The fact you can buy a smooth six-cylinder GLC 350D, admittedly in lesser SE trim, for a few hundred pounds more, is the nail in the Edge's leather-lined coffin. It's a similar story with the BMW X3, Jaguar F-Pace and Audi Q5, Two. All of these cars were designed from the start as premium products, and that's reflected with those cars' more upmarket interiors, refined cabins, and, and grown-up driving experiences. It's possible that Ford will sell the Vinyl with some more tempting finance deals, but for now we've only got the list price to go on. While the Ford is pretty good to drive, with quick steering and not too much body roll in corners, the Jaguar is leagues ahead in this department. The Edge Vinyl weighs nearly 2 tons, which is tough to disguise during faster changes of direction. The Edge pays the price for that hefty curb weight when it comes to fuel economy and emissions. Figures of 47.9 mpg and 152g slash km of CO2 are beaten by the GLC 220D, which emits 129g slash km and returns 56.5 mpg, while the hybrid Lexus NX trumps both by emitting only 121g slash kilometer. Still, the Ford has a top spec Hyundai Santa Fe licked, thanks to that car's 42.2 mpg combined. It's not that quick, either. In an equivalent spec to our test car, which has an automatic gearbox and four-wheel drive, the Jaguar F-Pace 2.0D is almost a second faster to 62 miles per hour. That car's 178 bhp diesel engine is less powerful than the Ford's 207 bhp unit, but accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.7 seconds. The Ford completes the same benchmark sprint in 9.4 seconds though a decent 450 Nm of torque means it's easy to drive. The automatic gearbox in the Ford feels very unsophisticated next to rivals, though, particularly the smooth shifting 9-speed automatic in the Mercedes. The Ford setup is smooth enough when cruising slowly, but feels dim-witted when you want to do anything with urgency. 
it's quick to shift down when it should instead rely on the engine's torque, letting a gruff diesel drone into the cabin. The Edgevinyl does have active voice cancelling tech, however, which helps make the cabin a bit more hushed, but the standard Edge uses the same innovation so it's no more refined inside. Still, the Edge does have one outstanding feature, which is its size, this is one of the biggest cars in its class, and while it's not a 7-seater, there's a huge 602 liter boot that opens out to 1847 liters with the seats down. There's loads of rear legroom, too. Key Specs Model, Ford Edge Vinyl 2.0 C210PS Odd Power Shift Price, £40,250 Engine, 2.0 liter 4 CYL diesel Power, 207 bhp Torque, 450 Nm Transmission, 6-speed automatic, 4-wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour, 9.4 seconds Top speed, 131 miles per hour Economy, 47.9 mpg CO2, 152 g slash km On sale, now